The World Bank releasing its second development update on Sri Lanka for 2017 said the island needs to improve physical and financial resilience to natural disasters in order to better manage the impact on the economy. Which is right here. Sri Lanka is increasingly becoming vulnerable to recurrent natural disasters which are increasing in frequency and severity. According to the World Bank, on average, the impact of natural disasters on infrastructure, agriculture and relief aid is estimated at 50 billion rupees, which is equivalent to 0.4% of Sri Lanka's GDP or 2.1% of government expenditure. The drought in 2016 and 2017 affected approximately 2 million people across 17 districts. It also contracted the agriculture sector giving rise to inflation. Because of the prolonged drought, rice production in 2017 is expected to be the lowest in the last 10 years. The drought also resulted in more food imports and petroleum imports. Against this backdrop, the World Bank said better disaster risk management must be an integral part of Sri Lanka's growth model. We're supposed to be better prepared. Uh, it's important to prove physical resilience, meaning identify where the risks are and then act on them by building climate resilient uh, infrastructure. But similarly, it's important to be financially resilient, meaning it shouldn't affect the budget execution. It's important to have a, a layered approach to your disaster risk financing. Your budget can deal with small disasters, but for big disasters, you can buy international reinsurance, you can issue catastrophe bonds and you can benefit from contingent credit lines, whether commercial or from the international community. Um, having a fast disposal mechanism post-disaster, a recovery plan after floods and disasters, and by catastrophic risk insurance.